Hello friends, so this is uh, Dr. Meher again from the Venkat Center. So I would want to talk to all of you about uh, a very important topic uh, called hydridnitis suppurativa. So this condition is something where uh, the skin is chronically inflamed and uh, causes a lot of issues uh, at the areas such as the axilla, the groin and the buttock where there's a lot of sweating that happens. So what happens in this condition is due to a lot of sweating or there's a lot of movement in that area that causes friction. So this causes an obstruction of the hair follicle and also the sebaceous glands in those areas. So what that causes is a buildup of some sebaceous material and a lot of pus in that area. So that can cause an abscess which can then rupture and then that can cause a lot of scarring in that area. So this condition has a lot of waxing and waning of symptoms. People get it, then it gets resolved and it then comes once again. So this condition is notorious for recurrence. This condition is more common in women compared to men and it affects young individuals somewhere between 20 to 40 years of age. So this condition, as I said, the symptoms keep coming and they get resolved. So this affects a person's psyche a lot. So this a person who suffers from this kind of isolates themselves from the public. They don't want to meet a lot of people. This also affects their relationships. So seeking treatment for this condition not only helps them uh, resolve their symptoms, but also makes them uh, get their confidence back on track. So it can range from a lot of things. The first thing is there could be a lot of discharge from that area. There could be nodules or small swellings in that area. There could be pus discharge from that area or there could be a lot of scarring. So why should one seek treatment from this condition? One, it is to make sure that further complications don't occur. Complications like abscesses and deep-seated sinus tracts or skin tunnels. One of the things that you can do to prevent further symptom aggravation is one is to avoid wearing tight clothes. Number two is to not use any sort of uh, deodorants that can be a skin irritant. It is important that you visit a plastic surgeon because he can offer you not just medical treatment but surgical treatment also if needed. Medical treatment would include antibiotic cover, simple dressings and anti-edema measures. In more advanced cases, surgery is the way to go. If it's a small area that is being involved, then we can go ahead and do what is known as primary closure. We excise that area of skin and then we close the two edges. However, if the area is involving almost the entire armpit, for example, in that case, we not, have, we not only have to remove the entire area of the skin there, but we will have to do what is known as flap surgery, where we incorporate skin and fat from a neighboring area and then either transpose or advance or rotate into that particular defect. So if you do suffer from this condition, we at the Venkat Center are here to help you out. If you do like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Cheers.